Ruth, it just looked that you had a lot of fun during the sound check. You were laughing a lot. <laughs> we, we managed to have a good time during our sound check. Yeah, we do. Uh, you've arrived yesterday here in Rhode and stayed uh, in the area for the day. How was it? It was a smooth ride, yeah. We, um, we, we left from France and, uh, and headed this way. And, uh, you know, they've been taking care of us since we got here very well, I must say. We're having a, a swell time. Yeah. I guess it isn't the first time that you're performing in Germany. I've been trying to remember. It may be. It may be the first time. Yeah. And I'm liking it. I'll have to get back. Right. Uh, you're with the German label now, Blue Rose, over here in, Ger in, in, in Europe. How did that happen? Yeah, it was, um, I, th I think we met through a mutual friends and, you know, the blues world, we all kind of know each other and uh, they have a, a, one, a really good reputation over here and uh, it's nice to be associated with a, a label that has a, that kind of reputation. So I was, I was glad when they wanted to, to take me on to the family. Uh, listening to what you played during the sound check, listening to the last album, and then reading uh, about your biography, it looks like you started out with the gospel, then went more in the direction of folk, and, and finally got to the blues, or got back to the blues in a way. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a roundabout way. I've been, my music um, upbringing was mostly gospel, and blues was a huge part of the household. We listened to Lightning Hopkins, Muddy Waters, and then uh, there was a mix of Sister Rosetta Tharp, and a lot of uh, Mahalia Jackson in the middle of all of that, of course, Aretha Franklin. So I just, uh, you know, through osmosis, um, I was able to pick up on, a, um, on those parts of music. But through my travels, I've picked up, you know, country and I've picked up uh, reggae and whatever I can. And so now my shows are mixed with all of those different elements in, in, in music. you're writing your own songs, you're bringing in or covering or doing your versions of other well-known songs from various people, from the band David Crosby to June Carter Cash or Johnny Cash, uh, uh, even Black Keys. So it's, it's a mixture and what I like about uh, the other so songs by other people is you're making, making your own version. You almost don't recognize the original. Yeah, you know, I try to have fun with, uh, you, you mentioned we have fun with our sound checks. I, I travel a lot, and I, I love the idea of bringing a song like, um, like Ring of Fire to maybe even a, a, a different generation of people, and people who perhaps don't even listen to country music, but the groove and the translation that we, we give that song may introduce them to Johnny Cash. They like the way the song feels because we slowed it down and we made it kind of sultry. And uh, people who are into, say, maybe jazz uh, um, or even adult contemporary may appreciate the song and then it comes back to country music. So in a roundabout way, it's, it's my way of introducing these, these great songs to perhaps another generation and people who don't even listen to uh, country music.
building bridges are kind of a missionary for, for good music. Oh, I like that. Can I, can I call myself a missionary for good music? I like that. Yeah, it's, it's, kind, of come, it's kind of come full circle that way. It really has. Um, I, with um, the Let It Burn CD, I tried to concentrate more on being a song interpreter more than um, a singer in front of a band. That's a part of what I do and a huge part of what I do. But I really want to concentrate back into the, the songs and what the songs mean. So I like that. I like what you said about that. That, that, that means a lot to me. Uh, now you're performing as a trio with an acoustic guitar, which is quite unusual in the genre of blues. Yeah. When well, you it is. It is, but it's, it's where the blues came from. See, um, you know, you have a lot of folks like, um, you know, like Lightning Hopkins and, and um, you know, a, a lot of blues artists who came out of Texas even, uh, who started out with the acoustic guitar, and that's how the blues was introduced, through folk blues music. And, um, you know, let's face it, there are a lot of great guitar players out here, and I consider myself a guitar player, working on being a better guitar player every day. And um, through the acoustic guitar, I think it brings the element back to the song and hopefully the singer. And so, and I have a great group of people that I travel with who uh, make that, make it very easy for me to, to focus on that and, and keep that up front. And you can also show that the acoustic guitar has a lot of dynamics, a lot of power in a way. Yes, it, it really, it, it does. It's hard to find anything uh, on YouTube that really concentrates on that. I noticed that when I was looking, looking up guitars and acoustic guitar players who are out front and doing that on a regular basis. So maybe, uh, maybe I can be a, a missionary for that, bringing the acoustic guitar back into the blues. I think it's important. You know, I, I don't want to take away from the electric guitar and what that does for the blues. That's a whole nother thing. And I appreciate that. Uh, I do travel with a, an electric guitar player from time to time. But this is what I do. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm good with that. Last album, my album was produced with guests. You had the Blind Boys uh, from Alabama. Uh, now it's live. It's kind of stripped down. May have to concentrate on the essentials in a way. Yeah, and and you may be surprised with my next album. I just finished recording that, and uh, that'll be out later this year. It it strips it down again. It, it's it's fun to do that. Um, I think working with John Chalou, who I uh, has worked with as a, my producer for the Let It Burn CD, he was uh, very good with keeping me focused on uh, being the singer, uh, the, the voice in this project, rather than the voice that happens to play guitar. And so by that, I was able to focus on being an interpreter. And I brought in all of these, um, these other singers with me. Uh, I brought a little Mavis into that project and Cassandra Wilson. You'll hear a lot of different elements of different types of singers all throughout that, uh, that project. And um, I think that's part of uh, what, what's being interpreted by people right now, the, the, the feeling that and then pulling out uh, what, I was trying to, what I was trying to get to. And that's just really just bringing it back to the song. This is a rich and blues. I want to send this one out to Miss Jessie May Linfield. I know she's somewhere in red. Yeah. Feel like I'm a man, friend. Man, friend.